Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem uh, related with the uh, design of uh, reinforced concrete elements in the topic of flat slab. So the problem is here yeah, design a yeah, interior panel of flat slab. So we have to design the flat slab for the warehouse to sort the following data. So size of warehouse is 24 into 24 meter divided into panel of 6 meter into 6 meter so for that we have to design uh, the flat slab for 6 meter into 6 meter so the loading class uh, is uh, 5 kilometer per meter square then use m20 grade concrete and the fe415 steel so we have to find out the slab or flat slab and the column head so now we can uh, take the solution solution so first we have to find out the thickness of slab thickness of slab equal to span by 40 so from is456 we can take the span by 40 so uh, span is uh, the given is 6000 so 6 meter so we can take the 6000 mm divided by 40 so now we can get the 150 mm so the thickness of slab is 150 mm so from that uh, we can take thickness of slab equal to 150 mm is effective depth plus 50 mm cover so the overall depth is 200 mm so capital D is uh, 200 mm then whereas uh, small d equal to 150 mm ok so now the column head diameter so we can take the column head diameter so column head diameter so d is uh, uh, greater than of 0.25 L so now we can take 0.25 into length is 6 meter so now we can take 1.5 meter ok so now uh, adopt so adopt 1.5 meter ok so column head should be uh, the greater than of 0.25 L so we can take 1.5 uh, meter so then length of drop So length of drop should be less than L by 3 in either direction. So here the both direction is uh, same. So uh, is less than that of 6 by 3. So 6 by 3 is 2 meter. So we can adopt uh, drop with this uh, 3 meter. Okay. So drop with is 3 meter in all strips span L1 and L2 equal to 6 meter ok so that is a given ok so now we can take the loads so we can uh, we find out all the dimensions so now we can take the loads so first we can take the self weight so the self weight of slab So self height of slab is equal to 0 0.15 uh, is the thickness into 25 is the unit weight of concrete equal to 3.75 kilo newton per meter square. Okay, so now live load that is given. So live load is equal to 5 kilo newton per meter square that is a given. So then uh, loads due to extra depth on drops. So we have the drops so we can uh, calculate the drops drops load equal to 0 0.05 into 25 ok so now we can get the 1.25 kiloton per meter square ok so now we can uh, add all the values total load total load equal to uh, 5 plus 3.75 plus 1.25 so the total load is 10 kilonewton per meter square ok now we can take the factor low so factor load equal to 1.5 meter into 10 so equal to 15 kilo newton per meter square so this is the final load we can uh, calculate for the we can use for the moment calculation so now we can take the ultimate bending moment so moment m naught equal to W L N divided by 8 so now 
yeah we have to find out the ln value so ln equal to 6 minus 1.5 that is uh, 4.5 so that should be uh, greater than of 0 0.65 l1 so now uh, 0 0.65 into 6 so the l1 uh, we got the value of 3 po sorry 0. Point, sorry 3.9 okay so now uh, 4.5 is uh, greater than of uh, 3.9 so we can take now so now w equal to w u into l 2 into l n so now we can take uh, so w is uh, w u is 15 so we already found out 15 into so l 2 value is 6 into l n values we found out 4.5 okay so now we got the value of 4.5 kilo newton so we can substitute uh, above the formula so now m naught equal to 405 into 4.5 divided by 8 okay so solving this we got the value of 230 kilo newton meter okay so now we can take the column strips and uh, middle strips in the negative wedding moment and positive, as well as positive wedding moment so now we can take column strips moment so for that uh, there are two uh, moments so there is negative moment so negative bending moment and positive bending moment okay so the negative bending moment is uh, 49 percentage of moment and the positive uh, that is positive moment is 21 percentage of m naught okay so now we can take 0 0.49 percentage of 230 so equal to so 113 kilo newton meter so then uh, positive bending moment is 0 0.21 into 230 so that is 48 kilo newton meter okay so for the middle strip so for the middle strip positive and negative moments are same negative and positive bending moment equal to 15 percentage of m naught okay so the totally 100 percentage so 49 uh, plus 21 equal to 70 then uh, 2 uh, 15 percentage so that is uh, totally 100 percentage so m naught so that is 0 0.15 into 230 so we got the value of 35 kilo newton meter okay so now we can uh, check the depth because uh, we find out the positive and the negative moments and uh, for the column strip and wheel strip so now we can uh, check for depth so there are two checks so we can uh, we know the two depths so we can so two uh, moments so we can uh, check for two depth so now check for depth so now uh, the first moment d in the column strips so d equal to mu divided by 0 0.138 fck b we know the formula so now we can take uh, mu is uh, greater than of uh, 2 so negative and positive so we can take the greater than 113 into 10 power 6 because kilo newton meter uh, we can convert into newton mm so divided by 0 0.138 fck is 20 into b is uh, 3000 okay so we can uh, take the 3000 b so now we can take 117 mm so for that we uh, we uh, take 170 mm so hence it's a safer one okay so now we can take uh, second one d equal to root of uh, same mu divided by 0 0.138 fck b so we know the formula so now we can take so the bending moment is 35 okay so, so sorry 48 okay so 48 and 35 so we can take the 48 into 10 power 6 divided by 0 0.138 into 20 into again 3000 okay so solving this we got the value of 75 mm so that's a less than of uh, 120 mm so hence both are safe okay so now we can uh, call with the reinforcement detailings so now reinforcement for column strip so 
column so for the column strip so now uh, for the negative bending moment for the negative bending moment so the formula is here we know mu equal to 0 0.87 fy aest into d into 1 minus aest into fy divided by fck b into d so now we can substitute the values so the negative bending moment is 1 1 3 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 into fy values 4 and 5 and aest we have to find out and the depth uh, is uh, 170 mm uh, into 1 minus AEST we have to find out into 415 divided by FCK is 20 and uh, the B values uh, 3000 into D values 170. Okay, solving this we got the value of AEST equal to 2000 mm square. Okay, so now we can provide provide 16 mm dia bars at 300 mm spacing center to center okay so now we can take the positive bending moment so positive bending moment is uh, 48 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 again 415 into AST we know the depth is 120 sorry the depth is 170 uh, divided by 1 minus AST into 415 again divided by 20 into so again 3000 into 170 ok so now we got the value of AST equal to 1215 mm square ok so now we can provide provide 12 mm dia boss uh, 250 mm center to center spacing ok so for the negative bending moment we can take uh, 16 mm dia boss and uh, positive bending moment we can take 12 mm dia boss ok so now we can take the middle strip so this is for column strip so we can take the middle strip ok so middle strip uh, both the negative and positive bending moments are same so now moment is uh, 35 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 into 415 sorry uh, 415 into AST into 120 uh, is uh, death so 1 minus 415 into AST divided by 20 into 3000 into the D value is 120 so now we got the value of AST equal to 850 mm square. So now we provide 12 mm dia bars at 270 mm center to center spacing. Okay, so this is the method we can design the flat slab. Again, we will see in next video. Thank you.